June 5th, 2016. I tried something a little different today. I have this cactus sitting in my office and I figured if I'm seeing these Morgellons fibers on myself, then chances are they are floating around in the air and they're catching on other things in my office like this cactus. So I sat the cactus in front of my microscope and turned it on and right away I started seeing stuff. So like right here you're you're gonna see a moving fiber and I took four different angles of four different fibers and they're all moving. So I've been familiar with Morgellons for a while. Uh, like what I what I know or what I understand about them is it's nanotechnology that's being sprayed down through chemtrails and it's in genetically modified foods and probably in the water um, and we're probably just you know passing it from person to person very easily. So even though I was aware of the Morgellons for a while I only figured I was only slightly impacted probably you know not very much at all and then one day I came across the red wine spit test and I was intrigued it only took a couple ingredients to do and at the end of it you would know if you're positive for the uh, Morgellons so so uh, oh by the way the ingredients are red wine and 70% alcohol 70% or higher as you guessed it I tested positive um, but that wasn't good enough. I, I had to look into it a little further. And so I was inspired to buy a microscope. In no time at all, I started finding little microscopic fibers on my skin and also on my fingernails and toenails. It seems that they actually have a preference for nails. Here's some examples. Please note that all these images are at about 60 times to 100 times magnification and most can't be seen with the naked eye. This last video is interesting because I pulled two of the fibers off of the cactus and I sat them on the plate and I'm looking at them real close and halfway through the fiber jumps. It jumps right off the plate and it disappears and I look all over for it. Can't find it anywhere. I jumped out of my seat when I saw that. I, Anyway, it's, it's not the first time it's happened, but it's the first time I've gotten it on video. Here is the playback in slow motion. Thought I'd mention before I close out the video, I took a bath the other day in half a cup of Epsom salts and half a cup of baking soda. Since then, it's been harder to find the, the fibers on my body. I personally believe it's Morgellons repellent. So I'm gonna continue making that part of my weekly routine and I hope you do too.